Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and welcome back to Borderlands. Um, I'll be honest with you, since the last episode, it's been a few days since I played, so I'm a little bit out of practice. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing. I mean, I've got an idea because I've, I've already checked through the, uh, the journal. I already know what I need to be doing as far as my quests go. I'm going to be doing the, uh, be finding these two, uh, data recorders here. Um, and while we're out, uh, in that area, one of them is going to be up here, and another one's going to be over in this area here. I may have already explained this in the last episode, so I apologize if I'm repeating myself. Um, but the other one should be, like, right over in this area. And also in this area should also be Scar, which is the mission here for TK's Life and Limb. So we're going to go do, we're going to do these two first. And then once we get, uh, once we defeat Scar, then we'll go get the uh, Blade Flower Seeds that are going to be over in this area over here. So let's, uh, let's get going. We're gonna be hitting kind of like we were uh, for these uh, recorders. We for these recorders, we're gonna be hitting like we're going toward Nito's place, but uh, not gonna quite be going right to him. Uh, also, you may notice a little difference between uh, this episode and the last one. Uh, this or this the beginning of this one, the end of the last one, I should say. Um, my shields are different. I got a uh, before I actually started this episode. I checked the stores to see if there might be anything good. And they had a, uh, a slightly better shield for sale. Or, or, yeah, for sale. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It was like, it was a 77 shield. I think mine was like 66. So, you know, I felt like I got a huge difference. Uh, I wanted to get, they had a shield, uh, shield in there that was, I think it was like close to 100 shields. But it cost like two grand. I'd only, I had like a, like 1600. And I had nothing to sell. So, I doubt it'll be there when I come back. But if it is, I'll get it if I have the money for it. But if not, no big deal. It's not like this is going to be the, uh, the last time I'm ever going to get, get a shield upgrade. But anytime I get a chance to upgrade my shields, I want to take the opportunity to it. The uh, opportunity for it. The shields are very important. Alright, we're going to mosey around here and up here. Now, this you, we can't access this thing here because this is only for uh, TK's mission to actually go get nine toes. So we can't get, the, we can't get Lady Finger again. Some skag over here we're gonna put some bullets into for some extra experience. Oink. Blap 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 blap. Oh, I gotta, re gotta reload my black gun. Blap 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 blap. Oh, hello. Blap blap. <laughs> blap. There we go. Now there is an achievement, or uh, achievement slash trophy. That I already have gotten in this game. It's called uh, My Cousin is an Italian Plumber. Or something like that. My Brother's an Italian Plumber. Something along those lines. And the reference is the Italian Plumber is the part we're looking for. And the reference is obviously uh, Mario. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, if you kill an enemy by jumping on its head. Or by jumping on it. That's how you get uh, credit for the... Uh, that's how you get the achievement slash trophy. Depending on which system you're playing. Um, in order to, my, for my, to, in my opinion, the best and the easiest way to do it is before you get too high leveled, because you'll end up, you know, blowing away the enemy, uh, is find, like, in the, uh, but this area here is not a bad place to do it, but I would recommend, like, maybe as you're level 5, maybe, uh, right by Firestone, find a skag, and uh, one of those little, one of those, uh, junior skags, whatever, shoot him until his health is really, really low, uh, that one I killed, damn it. I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate here because I'm pretty powerful. But level 7, I got a pretty good weapon here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> but anyway, um, what I would recommend, <laughs> uh, and the reason I would say don't do it before you're too high is because you're going to one-shot the enemy and kill them, or you get a critical shot and blow their body apart. Uh, I would say before you're too high leveled, I, I would say probably about level 4, maybe 5. Uh, find one of the skags out by Firestone. Shoot him until his health is really, really low. Uh, don't kill him, but really, really low. Fortunately, their health doesn't regenerate as long as they don't kill you. But the way to their health is really, really low. And then just literally jump on him. It's not, it's not too easy to do, but it's not too hard either. And the reason I recommend using the skags, you can do it on any enemy in the game. Barring you can jump on them. <laughs> but the reason I would recommend the skags is because... What you're trying to jump onto is a longer body than trying to say jump on top of a of a human's head. Think of it like a think of yourself as like a dart, 
and you're looking down at a target and think of the the what you're trying to kill as the bullseye. So if you're looking down at a person from above, obviously their head and their body is going to be really small and kind of hard to land on. Whereas if you're trying to land on... Oops, I'm pulling the trigger by accident. <laughs> so how I was pulling the trigger while I was laying on my leg. Um, whereas if you try to land on a skag, the skag's body is long, so you have more room to land to actually land your your body on top of theirs. To actually to because every time you jump on an enemy, you do a very little amount of damage, and I do mean very very little. That's why I recommend. Uh, getting a an early uh, an early one of the early tags that has a very small amount of health, drain them of health, you know, like just really really small amount, and then jump on top of them. That way, all you do is jump jump on them once, maybe twice, where you score maybe two points per each time you jump on them. And you'll, once you kill them by jumping on them, that's when you get credit for the uh, for the achievement. Uh, I can't demonstrate it exactly because I've already got the the, the trophy in this game, but uh, uh, for those of you trying to get it, that's my recommendation. Okay. Oh, we got some uh, rack this time. Get them in a nice uh, lined up position. They're coming at me. Here we go. There we go. Hi, Skag. More. Whoa, that was the uh, feeder rack got close. Damn. I didn't expect that feeder rack to come at me so quickly. Pop, pop. Okay, now we need to go down here. And cross this little land bridge here. We're right to... Oh, oh behind me. Where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> he flew a long way. Uh, we're right above now where we came in. We're down there is where we uh, killed some of those skag earlier. Right over there is Nine Toes Place. Here's this land bridge here. Right over here, kill some more skag. Flap, 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 flap. More blapping. Oh, gotta reload my blapper again. Whoa, don't fall off the land bridge. I'm trying to give it, do, trying to demonstrate you guys how to, you know, not how to jump on them, but <laughs> jumping on them would be uh, to your advantage. Oh, that guy's got that guy's too much health. <laughs> Where's the other one? Is that the one that, okay, there he is. And another reason why I recommend the pup skags over anything else. See, I did four damage there. Is because they don't, they're not as, uh, they're not as aggressive. There we go. See, I did that right there. See, I actually jumped on him and killed him. If I had got, got not got the trophy for that, that would have given me. That would have given me the trophy. Um. The reason again, the reason I was recommending the pup skags is while they're they're not as, I don't want to say agile. They are just as agile as the the, the whelps, but they're. You can say they're just a they're just a little bit less mobile. They're not, they're not as willing to jump around as much as this one whelp here was. This whelp was you know moving quite a bit. Uh, the the pup skags don't really move as much, so it's a little bit easier to jump on them. They're not as willing to like run away from you and change their position to attack that kind of thing. And pop him, and him, and him. There we go. Very nice. Reload health. Oh, do I need health? <clears throat> Every time I see one of these things, I think I need health, and even though I don't really need it right now. All right. Let's grab some ammo. And here's our second recorder, or our first recorder. Well, technically our second recorder, because the first one that started the mission is also a recorder, but it's a... You know what I mean. Still can't understand any of it because it's still ruined. And here's a weapons cache. Got this money here while we're at it. Got ammo here. 
Alright, uh, we got a shotgun, which I don't, I don't, I'm not using right now. Uh, do I have one in my inventory? I do not. Right, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up, but I'm going to save it. Because I do intend to have a shotgun in my inventory, just in case. Not a bad weapon to have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock it for now, so I don't accidentally sell it. And then sniper rifles I'm not going to use, so I'll just sell it anyway. But when I get more inventory slots, I'll uh, put that uh, shotgun on. So like I said, I'll be going. Uh, I'll be doing a, a, a repeater, revolver, shotgun, rocket launcher as my weapon setup. Okay, we'll go ahead and just jump down here get, again. Yeah, yes, I know I get uh, uh, fall damage, but it's not that big a deal. You saw you saw how much how far I fell, and I only lost some, only lost you know three quarters of my shields. No big deal. Level six. These guys are a little stronger. Take away from the guys that are jumping at me. There we go. Very nice. All right. Sifting for looking for ammo. Not that ammo is really a problem right now, but just kind of a habit I have because I, I later on I do have issues with ammo sometimes. All right. Money here. Oh, spitter skag. These are actually range skag here. These spitter skags here. They do exactly what their name says. They spit. And I believe that they spit is corrosive. So uh, if you have a corrosive shield, you'll take less damage from them. Damn it. We live too soon. There we go. Fortunately, they don't really inflict a, uh, a corrosive status ailment on you. They don't have to worry about... Uh, uh, actually taking damage over time from their corrosive attacks, but if you do have a corrosive shield that would actually be very helpful But you might not have one this early in the game But in case you do or maybe you're doing like a, a second playthrough or whatever because you can you can actually have a new game Plus mode once you beat the game you can come back and play the game again and the enemies will actually be uh, higher level So let's say I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the end game uh so what the max level is for this for the first playthrough, but let's just say just for an easy number, let's just say it's thirty. Oh fuck, Scar's already here, son of a bitch. Okay, well, I guess I'm fighting Scar now. <laughs> I did not expect to fight him so soon. All right, Berserk time. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Yes, run away, run away, Scar. Run away like your Lion King namesake. Punch him in the ass. <laughs> Fist and Scar! <laughs> can't believe I just said that. <laughs> and I leveled up. And somehow I managed to kill that feeder rack while I'm in Berserk mode too. That was... That's pretty damn amazing. Uh, anyway, what was I getting to... Uh, let's see. Uh, here's a repeater. It's it's better. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll equip it. There's TK's leg, so we got that mission done. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, um... New, new game plus mode. Uh, just for the sake of numbers, let's just say the the level cap is thirty. I know it's not, but it's it's much higher. But let's just use it just for straight numbers here. Let's say you end the game at level thirty. You do a new game plus. You can the enemies will actually scale up to uh, to that level. So, in the enemies in this area, instead of being like level seven, they could be level thirty seven. So it's actually pretty nice that your sec that your second and, and third playthroughs will actually scale up. They actually scale the enemies up to higher levels. And here's the last data recorder. Alright, with that done, let's go ahead and use our perk point here to give us uh, shields or health? Mm, health. And now we've already gotten. No, we've already defeated Sca, uh, just Sca, Scar. And we got the, the data. Excuse me, data recorders. Sorry, I had breakfast before I uh, started this episode. I'm a little burping right now. Uh, now that we've done both those missions, we're going to just come through here, kill these skaggle on the way. I could just return to the uh, mission, uh, return to the uh, turn those missions in at the bounty board and stuff. Um, but there's actually something I want to get up here. There's a weapons cache up here, so I'm gonna also want to get some experience with kill killing these guys here. Got spitter skag. The best way to avoid being hit by the spitter skag spit is when you see them fire their spit, change your direction of movement. If you're move, if you're if you're uh, 
Uh, if you're uh, uh, strafing left when they uh, launch their spit, stop strafing left and either just go forward, strafe right, you know, whatever you just, just change whatever direction you're moving, and it's almost guaranteed to miss every time because they will. They will launch their spit in the direction that you're moving and try to lead you. So if you're strafing, strafing left, they're not going to spit to where you are. They're spitting where you're going. So if you keep strafing left, it's going to hit you. So that's why I would just recommend if you see them, when you see them spit, just change your direction of movement. Doesn't really matter which direction, just change it. And it should miss you almost every time. All right, what do we got at this weapons cache here? A snipper rifle, all right, useless, all right, and okay, urban repeater, but it's not better than mine, all right, let me go ahead and uh, lock in the next mission uh, by the seeds of your pants, and let's go get those uh, blade flower seeds, maybe I missed it again, Another skag whelp down there. Using the the uh, cliff to my advantage because these guys don't. Uh, they have to, they, these guys usually don't try to. Unless you're within their attack range of their their pounce attack, they usually don't try to jump to get up here to you. They actually have to go around the cliff, so that gives you the advantage of, of uh, height and um, pathing. Now, the reason he's saying that is if you come through this area here earlier, you're probably going to be about level 5 or 6. And usually anything above 3 levels, 3 or 4 levels above you, you'll see that skull icon or that exc exclamation point icon that he was talking about. And that means they're probably going to be too strong for you to handle. You're either going to do very little damage or they're going to pretty much just one-shot you. Of course, right now I'm level 8, so it's not, the pro it's not a problem. But normally, these level eights are right next to a really close, really close to the beginning area. So you could you could likely uh, run into them at level four or five and get annihilated. Oh, hello! Whoa, fast mover. Again, the upside to that is if you try to take these guys on at level five and you're maybe got a good enough weapon or you're you're good enough at dodging their attacks, you can actually kill those guys um, at those higher levels and get a lot of experience. So. It is kind of nice. There's our first blade flower seed there. You see what we're looking for? We're looking for those little uh, red uh, plants. They're gonna be they're gonna be marked on the radar, so it's not like it's not like it's gonna be hard to find. Here's our first look at adults adult skag. Again, using the advantage of a height here because they've got they can't jump up on this cliff. They've got to actually path their way around over here, so you kind of narrow them down to a. A little narrow, uh... What the hell am I stuck on? <gasps> a little, little, little narrow chokehold here. So, once they get past the chokehold, they're going to have you trapped in a corner. Because as you can see right behind you is a rock wall that you can't really do anything with. So, <laughs> you got to get them at, you gotta get them at the, uh, this choke point over here. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, in a bit of trouble. Nice, the grenade was right on, right on, right on target. Oh, Mr. Black Grenade. Pistol proficiency, Lala, profi pistol proficiency, now level 2. Very nice. Alright, now that should be all of them. Alright. Okay. A little bit of money here. 22 bucks. Here's our next blade flower seed. And what we got over here? A, P a, a, a Peter. It's a Peter. Yeah, that's right. I just picked up a dick. A repeater. So it's multiple dicks. Is that what is that? Is that what a repeater is? Multiple dicks. Let's pick up this blade flower seed and move on. All right. Uh, kind of a heads up here. This is kind of a point of no return, just as far as as far as pathing goes. Once you jump down here, it is very difficult to jump back up here. So I would recommend, you know, it, you know, if there's anything, if for some reason you didn't get this mission here and you just happened to stroll through this area, uh, I'd recommend not, not continuing unless you're ready to actually go through the rest of this area because 
once you jump down here, it's just there's no way to actually jump back up. Or at least it's very difficult to jump back up here, at least from my experience. So, you know, again, it's not only really like a, a, an end game point of no return or anything like that. It's just a point of very difficult to get back kind of point of no return kind of thing. I never really noticed this uh, bone sticking out here on the top of this creature up here. It's a... This is a, this is a, there must have been some really massive creatures that once lived on this planet. Whew. Whew. <laughs> of course, it's also a good place to, if you stayed up there, it's a good place to shoot these guys from because they can't get to you from up there unless they're spitters, which can obviously spit at you, but they can't jump up there and they have to path their way up to you, and they, uh, they can't path up there, up to where, up to that level up there. I'm gonna throw a grenade out here. I think uh, I got a little close to that grenade. There go. Got a little health there. Reload. There we go. Throw another grenade out there. Nice! I got both of those guys. There's one of them way over there. Oh, there's another one right there. There we go, got him. There's one kind of like stuck on his path over there, it looks like, so I'm going to mosey over there and get him the old fashioned way. By getting up close and personal. Oh, yeah. Don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> yep, hello. There we go. Alright, number four should be right up this hill. So we'll just mosey around over here. Peter Slugs, and there's number four. We're halfway there. Whoa, ho, ho, living on a prayer. So I just did that. And I'm very sorry. So, hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and number five is right next to it. Right. And you see these skag over here? There's actually a kind of a hidden path over here. <clears throat> so let me get rid of these skag and I'll uh, explore that little hidden path over there. There's no blade flower seeds in that path, so you don't actually have to take it. But there is a well, weapons cache over there, so that's kind of nice. Oh, we got a badass coming. Badass scag coming. You can tell because he's got those blue eyes. <laughs> this may be our... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. This may be a ton of, kind of a tough fight. May have to go into, yeah, I'm going to go berserk mode here. Oh, I'm standing on top of him. <laughs> I'm standing on top of him, so I was, sitting, I was actually getting damage from, like... Even though I wasn't jumping on him, I was getting credit for that type of attack. So, alright, level up again. Nice. And we're, okay, here we go. In case I didn't mention it before, when you level up, uh, not only do you get perk points and stuff, but your health and, uh, and your shields recharge to full, uh, as well as your uh, your action skill, your super. So if your super is you know, not fully charged, when you level up, it automatically gets a full charge. So uh, it was a good thing that I leveled up there when I did, because that, uh, that, that badass was kind of beating me up a bit. Alright, so level 9 now. Okay, we got stuff over here. Here's a shield, useless. Alright, let's check out this uh, weapons cache. Look at this shit! <laughs> Look at this shit! <laughs> SMG and a shotgun I can't use to level 10, so I'll hang on to it in case it's better. Let's see if it is better. Um, okay, that one's 9 times 12. Let's compare it to the other shotgun. Okay, the shotgun is better. Okay, good. So we'll lock this one, and we'll unlock that one. Um, okay, let's go ahead and use that perk point, and let's work on shield this time. Okay, okay now we'll go on to the next blade flower seed. 